Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bringing Back the Glory on Football Manager 2020 with Aberdeen. The T Gang will be delighted, I'm sure, to find out I've gone back to my roots, baby. This time next year we'll be millionaires. Here's hoping we can find our form now that the T is back. What a 42 carat plonker you really are! Great chance. Joker must make it four. He does. Oh. I think I would have to say now that this is the greatest team that Aberdeen have ever had. Aberdeen have definitely won the championship. Aberdeen with McGee making the break and Hewitt waiting in the middle! Since you last saw that very, very mixed episode, we've played two games. We drew 0-0 with Kilmarnock, so my form didn't improve. We then beat Partick 4-0, absolutely scudding them, and today is now Hearts and Rangers. It's pretty desperate, isn't it, the fact I'm bringing back T to try and bring back some decent form after the last episode. Um, but desperate times go for desperate measures, and the team that I'm trusting to bring back some decent form is Montipo, Emmanuel, Porteous, McKenna, Hickey, Ferguson, Proper, Francis behind Udo. Yep, we're trying to couple up the uh, shadow striker role with the deep line forward and hope that it'll work considering Armando's been absolute pants, missed a good chance in the Kilmarnock game. I was very unhappy with him. Basque General and Conta Sau on the wings. That's right, they're both in there. Pirini's been rubbish and Conta Sau scored twice in the last game. And so did Udo, actually. So it's going okay. The bench is Maishido, Finlay, Baron, Pirini, Armando, Ruth and Edmondson. Here's hoping we can get a couple wins today. It's two huge games. We're falling behind Celtic even more with that draw. So it would be nice. I really need it. I need all the help I can get. That is... Yeah, really you wouldn't have thought that given the fact I'm drinking tea now. Not because I want a cup of tea, just hoping that um, it helps in any way, shape or form. <sighs> a bit sad really, isn't it? Yes! 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 But anyway, the heart team is Bircham, Milovanov, Van Beek, Gordon, Havez, Harry Cochran, Allen, Connor Smith, Vaca, Traore and James Marriott, Jack Marriott. James Marriott is very different. That's one cock up already, Callum. Yeah, you're on top form, mate. And talking of top form, we need to be on top form to get two good results from this game. As you can see, we're five points behind Celtic. I don't think they play today. This might be a game in hand that we've got. And Aaron Hickey, of all people, has put us 1-0 up at Tyne Castle. Believe me, I'm real. That must hurt. A Scott McKenna assist of all people. Big up Ted, the main man. Rest in peace. Up with the stars now. The Northern Lights shine brighter. Oh, beautiful stuff. Well worked set piece. And Aaron Hickey was fifth goal of the season. I think that's the same amount of goals as Consasau. Consasau maybe got a sixth in the last game. So that sort of tells you where we're at with him. And um, I'm hoping we can improve now that he's on the opposite wing with the Basque general. So we can learn from on the other side. Oh, I love that man so much. Uh, Emmanuel has absolutely Peter K it up the park there. Have it. Vaca now. It's into Connor Smith. Um, we've given it away. That's good. No, they've given it away. <laughs> I'm just used to saying we've given it away. Uh, oh, we almost did there. Ferguson trying his very, very best. It's now into the Basque general. Come on, Basque boy. Show them how it's done. Hit it. No, okay. Josh Emanuel on the out hand outside. What am I saying? Penalty. Is it Consasau up to take it? It is. He scored one in the last game. Can he carry on his goal-scoring goal form? I can't speak. He can. 2-0 we lead at Tynecastle. This is so much better. So, so much better. I'm a lot happier. That's his seventh goal of the season. Marvellous stuff. Uh, it was. I don't. I can't remember who the keeper is. It used to be Harry Stone. Don't know who this is. It's some regen. But, you know, he went the right way. But not enough. Unlucky, buddy. Don't know why I said it like buddy. Bad day. The Basque General's taking a corner though. Oh, I couldn't get out of that accent there in time. Proper's nearly scored. That was nearly excellent. It wasn't though. No. You know, crucially. Hart's got a throw in. Just gonna um, take a sip and hope that saves us. If they score here, um, I don't know what to do then, to be honest. Triore Pascal has scored. Um, I don't think drinking tea had anything to do with it. I don't think it's bringing back the form either. It's just a little gimmick. It's not how to carry on. Um, maybe this time, we'll, next year, we will be millionaires. Who knows? Near end on 300 subscribers, so, you know, anything's possible. Um, defending isn't possible, though, going by that. Unlucky. Or Montipo saying a shot at the near post. Didn't realise it was FIFA I was playing. <laughs> ah, good one, Callum. Anyway, it's half time. We're on top. Slender lead. Um, let's build on it in the second half, hopefully. Uh, if not, there will be tears. Uh, by the way, Dundee have since sacked Gordon Strachan for their poor league form uh, after beating us in the Betford Cup final. So that just really rubbed salt in the wounds, didn't it? In fact, Gordon Strachan won it against us. 
Um, maybe we bring him back the glory, but he's like, no, no one will ever repeat the 80s. McKenna's headed over. Ted, mate. Oh, it's meant to be Rodman that's going to call him the whole series, wasn't it? Um, oh, well, it's too late now. And now we're gone. More than that. Let's, oh, no, no, no. Uh, Sven Van Beek on the edge. To the area. Right, okay, it's getting too close to comfort for comfort. Um let's change things. Ho oh, oh, you guessed it. Three centre halves. Let's tighten it up a bit, please, Dons. Francis has come off, Finlay's gone on. Just nothing stupid. Twenty minutes to go to Tyne Castle. Just please hold on. Um I've said nothing stupid, but we all know what we're capable of. And it's usually something very, very, very stupid. Nice and positive, Callum. Well done. Five minutes to go. Let's just no highlights, no more highlights. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Oh, dear Lord. I was about to, I've just realized I made one sub. I was about to do that. And now there's a highlight. Um, please don't give it away now. Josh Emmanuel, another goal. Make it 3-1. That would be ideal, really. Dirk Proper. Find the man. You've got runners ahead of you. Ferguson. Into Udo. No! The Basque General! Yes, sir! I knew I'd... I uh, had faith in him. Second goal of the season. Him on one side, Constant side on the other side. Is the partnership I should have been going with this whole time. I've been looking at players to sign. And there's one big money name that I might be bringing in. I don't know if that makes sense. Big money name. Big name player for big money. Was kind of what I was trying to go for. The Basque General though. Might not need him. Might not need this boy. Uh, let's make a couple subs to waste time. Uh, Udo's putting a shift. Uh, no, I should take the more tired players off. Uh, Constant off for Pierini. And do 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 do. Okay, to be fair, we can't really do much else. Uh, so Udo will be for Edmonton. Armando is not coming on. Let's make that categorically clear. Um, full time. There we have it. Absolutely smashed them at Tyne Castle. And Hickey scored. The Basque General and Concesau on the score sheet as well. I'm much happier about that. The T has worked. Hashtag T Gang in the comments, please. Thank you very much. Um, if you've not already joined the T Gang by subscribing. Um, I'm at time of recording. I'm one away from 300. So if you want to be the 300th person, go ahead. Please be my guest. LOL. We are now just three points behind Celtic. It's not all bad, you know. There's a long time to go in the season. There's a chance to save it, but the our next game could go a long way in that against Ross McCrory's Rangers. No, don't like that. Oh my God! Absolute scenes. Ross McCrory's Rangers have just beat Celtic. That is huge for us. Celtic had a chance to go further ahead, so now we've got a game in hand and we can go level with them next time. But, as I said, Ross McCrory's Rangers up next. What the fuck are you doing? And going into the game against Ross McCrory's Rangers, there's absolutely no changes, the only one being on the bench, Gavia comes on for Armando. That's right, Armando is not even on the bench. That's how disappointed with him I've been. A big waste of money. And Ross McCrory's Rangers look like this. Robbie McCrory, Captain Ross McCrory of Ross McCrory's Rangers. Stop it. Get some help. Connor Goldson, Richelli, Pete, James Justin at left back, Lara Bathal, yeah, oh, saucy. Kamara, Bowden, Vallejo, and, and Sami. I was like really excited about the fact I said Lara Bathal, and then I was like, K -K -K Kamara. Yeah, it's just me all over, isn't it? We have kicked off at Kingsford. I finished my tea. It's that warm in here with that, the light, and uh, my radiator's on that I'm breaking out in a sweat. And they've picked up an injury, so that's good. I'm happy about that. That's a sort of sign when you're unfit, that you're that hot from a cup of tea, a light being on and the radiator being on, um, that you're breaking out in a sweat. Half an hour, though. Wish our players would break out in a set. Celtic are sweat, and Celtic are 2-0 up. Absolute nightmare. I can't even speak. And they've got the first highlight. Bowden in. What has happened there? Genuinely, what the hell has happened there? It's gone all the way in from Bowden. Montipo, I don't have a clue what he is playing at. And I am sick to death of this goalkeeper. Let's just watch that again. Bowden, nobody touched it. And it was going start off so far at the post. Curls in and Montipo can't get there. Oh, brilliant. Thanks so much, Lorenzo. The one player I thought I could rely on throughout this whole bloody thing. And you've just gone and done that. I would be fighting him half-time. Half-time. That's their one shot on target. We didn't even have one on target, to be fair. Absolute shambles for the first half. Second half, underway. They've made a change. Um, I'm thinking about making a change. We don't see anything soon. Um, I can't imagine that we will, to be honest. We've not made anything yet. We've had a shot on target, though. That's at least something. Still nothing. Um, okay, let's make some changes. Okay, so Isaac Udo and Abu Francis have come off. Edmonton on up front. Proper in behind on the advanced playmaker role. And Baron and Mazala. Uh, we need something, boys. We need something fast. Half an hour to go. 
Okay, um, could be an instant impact. It could not be an instant, instant impact. Let's see if I can say instant, instant, instant. I can, okay. I don't know why I found it such a problem earlier. McCrory's goal kick. Uh, they've won it. Sars in behind. Uh, great save, Montipo. You saved that one, didn't you? When I, you're one on one, not a free kick from 50 yards out. You've. Oh, God. Borden with a corner. He fires it in and. Kamara, get rid of it, please, Dons. Get out, get out, get out. He has. Uh, the two. Ex Edinburgh players combine. Oh, that was a stretch and a half. Richelli out to Insami. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him as well. And him, any of them. Want to get near any of them? That would be nice. Uh, Ross McCrory back to Connor Golton. The highlight has gone on forever. And Sammy down the right hand side. Hickey's won it. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Sar scored. Uh, Connor Goldson, long ball down the line, and Sammy, oh, oh no. Um, it's I thought Hickey would won it there, and then I think McKenna had as well, he stepped out. But no, no, um, they got the ball in an indirect star scored. I'm a very unhappy, I'm an unhappy boy, unhappy boy. More changes, I tell you. Okay, so Contessao comes off after a good performance in the last game. He's done nothing so far, so Gavia comes on back from his virus. That's marvellous stuff. And we're talented to get the ball wide, lob it in the box. 20 minutes to go. We need something now that we're two goals down. We need it, like, right now, really. Um, it's not going to happen, though, is it? So I've gone four and a lot. That's all that's changed in the 10 minutes that I've not been speaking. Um, yep, yeah, that is brilliant stuff. Full time. Nope, not quite. Bass General in. Connor Barron, edge of the area. Josh Emanuel's got one back. That'll help for goal difference, at least. Um, doesn't really count for anything, does it? When you're losing against Rangers. Uh, good ball in. It wasn't a good ball in. It was headed clear. I'm just lying. Conor Barron's shot was headed in by Josh Emmanuel. Uh, some dodgy goalkeeping going on in this game so far. I say so far, it's over. We've lost. Magnificent stuff. Ross McCrory's Rangers have defeated us. <sighs> Pain. Pain. We're now back to six points behind Celtic. Obviously, we've got a game in hand still. But it's not looking good for the boys, is it? The last dance is a very, very sad one. I'm just looking at that, and that is some horrific form. How many games have we won? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Quick mess. And five, only five of them in the league uh, since the start of October. That is so poor, it's unreal. And um, We will be back after the break with the Celtic game. We'll see how that goes. Probably another beating. And I might throw in Dundee there as well just to see if we can get revenge at revenge after that painful bet Fed Cup. If you've enjoyed this episode though, please do smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you fancy sticking around. And comment down below if you think we can turn this round and where I should sign players in January for. What positions I should sign them for. That's what I was trying to say. Hit this like if you didn't enjoy. And comment down below also with how I can improve my videos. <sighs> that was so painful check out the Red Tinted Glasses podcast new episode went up yesterday lunchtime about tomorrow's game against Celtic yep I'm trying to do it recording it on the Thursday night and try to think plan ahead and think about what's coming out when I'm not good at it I'm not good at speaking in general but thank you very much for watching and take care why am I making videos if I'm not good at speaking in general